Have you ever been told that standing too close to a microwave can cause you to have cancer? If you have, you're not the only one. Let's start with a little bit of history on microwave ovens. The very first person to file for a patent of the microwave was Raytheon engineer Percy Spencer. In 1946, Spencer filed for patents on the use of microwaves for cooking food. One of his patents even illustrated the popping of popcorn cob and all. Despite the potential for near-instant snack food, the first commercial Raider Range microwave ovens unveiled by Raytheon in 1946 were intended for use in restaurants and for reheating meals on airplanes. They were massive, expensive appliances built around 1.6 kilowatt magnetron cubes that had to be continuously water-cooled. By 1955, Raytheon had begun licensing its microwave technology and the first microwave oven designed for consumers went on sale. The Tappan RL1 was wall-mounted and cost $1,295 US dollars, almost $11,000 today, putting it out of the reach of most people. Ten years later, Raytheon acquired Amana Refrigeration, and the first Amana Raterangers started showing up on household countertops in 1967, for a more affordable $495. As microwaves became more common throughout the 1970s, concerns arose about the effects of microwave radiation on humans. Fortunately, here in the present, we have RF radiation safety figured out. So is it safe to stand in front of a microwave? A majority of the time, it is. Microwave ovens convert electricity into a type of low-frequency electromagnetic radiation called microwaves. A magnetron, or high-powered vacuum tube inside the microwave oven, creates the microwaves, and the metal walls inside the microwave constantly bounce these waves around. Microwaves heat up food by making the water molecules inside your food vibrate. Sometimes, a rotating plate inside the oven ensures all parts of the food get equally hit by the waves to heat up the food more evenly. Food, however, does not retain microwaves or radiation after cooking. The World Health Organization compares microwave ovens to how light bulbs work. When the light bulb is turned off, no light remains. Similarly, when a microwave is turned off, there is no longer radiation. Microwaves do pose risks other than radiation, though. One such example is superheated water. Burns from spilling hot food and liquids are common when using a microwave. This is because, unlike boiling water on the stove, there is nowhere for bubbles to form in a cup in a microwave or a dish. Disturbing the microwave water by moving it or dipping a spoon could make the water bubble and boil immediately, leading to an explosion. This, in turn, may cause severe burns. Spills were the most common injury from microwaves during a 20-year study of emergency room visits. According to a 2013 study in the American Journal of Emergency Medicine, on average, an estimated 21 people per day were treated for microwave-related injuries, with hands and fingers being most commonly hurt. In the end, microwave ovens do not pose a serious threat to our health, but the FDA does recommend individuals to follow the instruction manual provided with each oven model. This generally includes only using microwave-safe cookware, halting operation of the door does not close firmly or is damaged, and regularly cleaning the oven cavity with non-abrasive tools.